hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a like october slash recent favorites um a lot of these things are from the past month of october but a lot of these things are favorites i've really been loving this past couple months making sure to see my mic uh plugged in so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started first gonna start with hair obviously my lovely purple hair is a big favorite uh i just redid it a doll video i just posted posted that's what it looks like when it's dolling out it turns more of a fuchsia where like when i first do it it's like a really dark grungy purple which i like this better than the fuchsia but the fuchsia still looks really good I, i've only been washing my hair once a week so it stays really really vibrant that's why it still looked like that at six weeks i honestly could have gone longer but i had like an inch more than an inch of regrowth and my hair is naturally blonde so it just when it starts like in a week when it starts to get more regrowth i'm gonna look like i'm bald right here because my hair is so blonde when it comes in compared to the dark that i have now but uh the shampoos i've really been loving for this these are the shampoos i use to wash it uh this is the vibrant sexy hair from the sexy hair line it smells really really good and then another shampoo i've been using to help preserve the purple and this helps preserve the dark a little bit longer this is the viral extreme purple color wash um even this is i think the brand is celeb luxury again you can only buy this if you get from a get it from a professional same with the um vibrant sexy hair so i think that's the only like non-makeup things besides like music at the end first off this is like a re-favorite this is the ColourPop ultra satin uh the the only thing i hate about this packaging is the labeling comes off like it's art i've only had this for like two months this was in not the last boxy charm but the one before that's the september's so this is in the shade strut and i forgot how much i liked the ultra satin lips like they're very um comfortable and they don't they stay on all day for the most part but they still like look very healthy they don't look too dry i have smashbox on now and this actually doesn't look too bad but my my tart one that i have in a deep red gets really really dry so i really love the ultra matte satin lips i need to get more shades in that i have like six or seven but i forgot how much i love that formula uh, next i can't remember if i got this in a boxy charm or an ipsy this was from the brand think girl power liquid lipsticks i love this matte lip matte liquid lipstick again with that i get a little bit more drying than the ultra satins but i love this formula so much that's the color right there and it stays on so well Ugh, i don't remember what the shade is called he's being all crazy today but i really like this shade i like that formula all right next uh this is the shade and formula i've already had this in a favorites before but not this shade this is in the well, it's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. It's a matte liquid lipstick, and it's in the shade 40, which is... I don't remember the name of it, but it's in the, it's in number 40. I love this formula so much. This has been a really, like... This has been an everyday lipstick, pretty much. If I don't know what else to wear, this is what I will wear. This is perfect. I love it. So easy to apply. It doesn't get too, like, cracky or gross or feel disgusting throughout the day goes on. It stays very, uh, nice all day long. And I know my hair looks crazy. I'm waiting for the curls to like cool down a little bit so I can brush it out. So I brush it when they're still warm. It's just gonna brush it all out. And then, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is a Tarte lip paint. And this is the birthday suit shade. They came out in a full size and with the uh, party or party or whatever it's called. Stop. Came out in a party uh, blush set. This is from the birthday set this year. And I guess because these did so well, um, they came out in full sizes, which I'm super, super happy with. What are you doing? <laughs> which I'm super happy with because I've already used my sample up. I love that one so much and I'm so happy I found a full size. Okay, and then next, I'm going to go in with setting sprays. This is the Mara Bodestrial Skin Care and this is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, green tea, uh, when I feel like my face is way too dry, I use this. I've obviously used it a lot, and I've only used it the past three weeks. I freaking love this stuff. I will go in with this one first, no matter what spray I'm using, no matter what kind of finish I have. If I already have a dewy face, I will go ahead and go with this first. And then I've only used this a couple times, 
but I really feel like this does what it's supposed to do. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray, and I feel like this really does mattify my skin really, really well. I've only used this twice, but I've noticed a huge difference between my other mattifying sprays and this one. This is really, really good. If I really do like this. I re recommend both of these, especially of oily skin. Um, I have not noticed that this FX make, makes my oily skin even worse, but I need to pick up more of this because I don't want to run out of this be very sad if I do. Next is kind of foundation combos I've been using. I have been loving this pure bear it all 12 hour 4 in 1 skin perfecting foundation. This is in the shade porcelain but it's still, can you stop please? This is still too dark for me or the skin tone is too dark so I just whiten it up with my NYX Pro Mixer foundation or Pro foundation mixer whatever. This is such a beautiful combination. I this has been my go-to in this other combination, or other two combinations I've been using all month. Depending on what finish I went for that day, if I have a longer day, or if I just feel like my skin's going more oily, or if I ate bad the night before, which really does depend on my oiliness of my skin, I will kind of switch it up and see what I need. The other combinations I've been using was, and I use this to mix with these two foundations, I can use it for other foundations, but I really love it with these two. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage uh, High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. This is just the white shade, so I use it as a mixer, and I mix it in with my L'Oreal Pro Matte in my my CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation. Both of these are a little too dark. This one's a little bit lighter than this one. This is really too dark, and this is the lightest shade for me. And I feel like alone, these are still way too dry on my skin. So this this is more um, illuminating. So I love mixing these together. I'm wearing the L'Oreal once a day. Usually, I guess my forehead's like really purple from last night. It's still bleeding really, really bad. Like my neck, might have foundation all over my skin because my neck is still very, I don't know if you can see that because I can't see right now, but my neck is still very, very purple right now. So I had to cover up all of my neck and I didn't cover all my forehead, but this covers really, really well. And depending on how like bad my breakouts are, I'll switch up with these two because this covers a little bit better with my breakouts. So I love this combination. I love this Pro Mixer foundation because it makes my skin look like skin. Like this doesn't look like I have a bunch of makeup caked on like I actually do. And my skin has been going crazy lately. So the more the better I guess. But yeah I love all three of these combinations. This is what I've been using literally the past like two or three weeks. Um, with a couple like maybe one foundation switching it up every couple days or whatever. But for the most part, that's all I've been using. This is, I'm almost out of. I need to get more because that's been my holy grail lately. All right, so these next couple things I have are blushes. Uh, I only have a couple. I've really been into blush lately, which is weird because I'm not a very big blush person, but I've really been liking these. These are the Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. This is in the shade Plum Rose. These blend out perfectly. I can build them up if I want to because they're not too pigmented where you have to like tap it off or you have to be careful when you're putting it on. This is another blush. This is kind of like a rediscovered favorite that is in my collection. I was doing my Ipsy video. Last month or the month before, I don't remember when I posted that, my full face at Ipsy, but I used, I think, this blush. This is the Mena Kadar Beauty Paradise Blush. It's just a really pretty, like, orange-red blush, but it makes my cheeks look so nice and rosy. I do have to go in a little bit with the easy hand because I am very heavy-handed with blush, so that's why I like to get stuff that's not pigmented. As you can tell in my doll video because I went in way too pigmented with that blush at first. That is a gorgeous blush. I just take like either my Luxie blush brush which is dirty right now or this Tarte one that came in the holiday set last year. I just this is perfect for blush. It's perfect for that shade. Makes it look nice and airbrushed. I love that blush so much. This is the Anastasia blush trio in the shade Pool Party. My favorite shade. This is why I bought this set was for this shade right here. I just love that dusty mauve muted tone of a shade. I love that blush. Blends out super easily. I have not really used... I've used this other shade on the side. I've not really used this bright pink shade. really do love these. I want to get more. This next thing I have is just a brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk and it's their number 110 brush. And I used this clean up my eyebrows. This is perfect. I was using a wet and mild one for a really long time, but this makes it so much easier because with that wet and mild one, I was just going into 
my actual eyebrows. Next, I have, these are kind of just like random favorites at this point now, except for my last three. Um, this is the eyelashes I'm wearing. They're kind of fucked up right now because I was kind of rushing to put them on and they just weren't going on my eyes right. So they usually look better than this. But I really can't feel that I'm wearing these eyelashes, which is a big thing for me. I have no issues with these. I got a little of the eyelash glue in my eye, or like actually in my eyeball. And that did sting a little bit, but it went away. But I mean, I feel, I can feel that they're on and they're heavy, but they're not irritating my eyes where I need to take them off. Oh, I didn't even tell what these were. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Falk Fur Minx Collection. And the shade, well not in the shade, but this is in the um, style doesn't say on here but I know it's a little black dress style next I have this heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy this is what I have like kind of on the middle of my eyes and kind of below my eyes today's Halloween so I just wanted hey can you stop it I love this I've used this like five times now I have not had it that long but I really 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 do like this and then these next things are just eyeshadows. Uh, this first one I'm just going to get out of the way. These are just the ColourPop eyeshadows. And these four right here. This is a buxom. These are random ones I got for Ipsy. But I don't have a Z palette just for my ColourPop ones. So for right now I only have four. I'm just going to put them in here. Uh, these shades blend out so easily. This is the one called Glass Bowl. And it's so pretty. I'm so happy I got it. And then these next two things are just eyeshadow palettes. This is my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe. I can't talk right now. I'm so sorry. This is my Jaclyn Hill slash Morphe palette. I freaking love this palette. This is the perfect fall palette. I love all of these shades. I use these for every single day whenever I use this eyeshadow palette. I use the Obsessed all the time. I love this gold. I highly recommend to get this palette. I got this, I think, the second launch or the first launch i can't remember but now i think they have different packaging i think this is now laminated so it's easier to not get dirty and then this last one is not new at all but i've been using this so much i use this my last look i have a look coming up with this soon this is my cat d shade and light eye palette this is just a staple palette i am definitely probably going to be hint pan on this shade i can see a dent already in the middle but I use this all the time. It's so easy to create a look. These are so easy to blend. It's just a perfect neutral palette. And then I love to pair this with my Kat Von D Amethyst palette. A lot more other makeup I've been loving. But this is like my top makeup I've been loving. On to music favorites. Should I start with show favorites? Let's start with show favorites. Because I've really been liking... I've been getting into my Netflix again lately. I go back and forth with spurts of watching YouTube a lot or watching Netflix and Hulu a lot. Um, one of them was the Santa Clara Diet. Freaking love that. I finished that in like two days, I think. It's so good. It has Drew Barrymore in it. It's it's like a funny horror show because I don't want to like give it away without saying what it is, but it's just really good. I love that show. I highly recommend it. I've really been like in Riverdale. I finished that months ago though. So I think season two is actually on Netflix right now. I need to watch it. The 100 is, I got out of it, but I got right back into it. I finished, I left off middle of season three. So I rewatched, rewatched all of season three just to remind myself like what happened, where it was in the show. And it kind of does die off, but towards the end, it picks up in season three. And season four is so good. I they need to release the dates for when they like come out the next season because it was so freaking awesome. Of course, Stranger Things two already finished it. It came out not even a week ago, and I finished it like two days ago. Oh my god, season two is so good. It's definitely there's definitely gonna be season three, I think, because they left off it on a huge cliffhanger so yeah i'm super excited for the n these next seasons to come out um a movie i've really been liking is called death note um it's a netflix original it's really really good too uh, you just have to watch it i can't say anything without giving it away but that was a really good tv show um movie oh and then another one that was really good nerve nerve with uh what's her name Emma Roberts. Nerve with Emma Roberts on Hulu. I think it should still be on Hulu. Such a good movie. Oh my god, you have to see it. I love that movie so much. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my music favorites because I have quite a bit of those too. 
uh, one of my first big ones, I've really been into Trophy Eyes since I saw them at Warped Tour. They're more, how do I describe them? Alright, so they are like pop punk, punk rock. Their first album's kind of heavy, but their second album that came, at, came out with a year ago, I think Chemical Miracle, they songs on there, so if you don't like heavier music, it is kind of heavy, but it's not like screaming, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. No one's going to watch my music recommendations, but I have just been loving this music so much lately. Another band that just came out with their new album literally five days ago, a band called Movements. They're still really small. I saw them at Earth Tour. I actually... Stop it! I actually found them on an ad on Facebook. I was just going through and I accidentally clicked on it. Like, I didn't even mean to click on it. And I'm like, oh, that sounds really good, actually. They only had six songs and they had a pretty decent amount of following actually with those six songs. They just came out with their new album called Feel Something. Oh, it's so good. This is my favorite song on the album. It's called Daily. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's just very like calming to me. I don't know how to describe it but I'm seeing them in concert next month on the 19th in Columbus, Ohio. I'm super excited. I've seen them once at Warped Tour. I'm trying to sing my cat. He's not liking it. <laughs> so there's kind of a clip of that song. It kind of gets like more energetic throughout the song goes. And then my last one is the whole new album of Neck Deep. And for, well, first off, Neck Deep so freaking good i want to see them in cleveland but i have to get my wisdom teeth taken out in january and i don't have the money for because cleveland is four hours four and a half hours away for me and then i would have to pay for a room because we'd be going through the whole weekend and i have to get my wisdom teeth taken out so that's eight nine hundred bucks right there so obviously i can't be seeing them and i'll probably still be in pain honestly to be because i get in the mosh pit i don't want to get punched in the face so I have to adult and I have to make an adult decision and not go unfortunately, but such a good band. I'm so excited for the new album. Um, and then Front Bottoms just came out with the new album. I love Front Bottoms. I'm obsessed with all of her songs. So I'm so happy I have new songs to scream my heart out to. That was super gay. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for my favorites. I thought this was going to be a shorter video, but it's kind of longer because of my show recommendations movie recommendations and songs so i hope you guys enjoy it i'm sorry about all the songs and everything i just it's stuff i've really 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 been loving lately and i have no one else to talk to about it so yeah so yeah if you guys like this video then please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it. also comment down below what you guys want to see next i am willing to do anything pretty much so yeah, and don't forget to, su to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. I'm going to definitely uh, get better with that. This, like, from now on, I've been super motivated lately to get videos up, to make videos. So, yeah, I hope you guys just enjoy this video, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.